so we're here at the Chain of Rocks. We're at uh, minus four feet, St. Louis gauge height. This is the uh, first time I've really ever seen it this low, but uh, the Chain of Rocks is showing the rocks, and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty gnarly. I don't see any places to really run this today, but uh, it's still pushing 65,000 cubic feet per second of water over this thing, so uh, it's a force of water. It's Quite remarkable. It's great sound. Ice on the uh, driftwood. I don't think I've ever seen driftwood lodged in the chain. I've seen refrigerators or something like that, but never logs. And uh, the pump houses out there, they're uh, below what would have been, uh, they would have been able to draw water in, which I think is why the chain of rocks was built up, was so that the uh, the old pump houses were able to uh, draw water, creating a pooled up effect here on the uh, upstream side. Those aren't uh, operational anymore, but uh, they're kind of a cool, uh, iconic image of, you know, as you, as you look down at the chain of rocks or look across. But uh, one of the challenges here of running the chain is, is as you come downstream, you really can't see the lines of water. And at the bottom of the chain, in higher water, it has a washer machine effect almost all the way across. There's only a few V's of water that actually flush out completely in one straight line. And today, I, I only see like a couple of them that are actually flushing out, but as you can see, they're just enormous uh, standing waves and wave trains that are dropping over. It's about... Uh, I don't know, 10, 15 foot drop here from top level all the way down to the bottom where the uh, river flows on downstream. Really incredible, incredible sight. So uh, anyway, for the foreseeable future, I'd say the chain of rocks is closed to running. I don't know about you, but <laughs> I certainly don't think I'm testing it. Uh, I think there's a way to, to uh, get through it without a portage, and that would be to go all the way uh, ferry across the river all the way to the uh, Missouri bank and then to drop down one of the one of the small lines of water there I don't think it's as bouldered and all that but uh, there's no way to really tell and I, I was up here the other day and and uh, even if we were to go all the way over to the bank we'd have to get out and pull the boat it's just all rock bed and sh limestone shelf shale all the way along there and it's it's just a pretty, pretty tough place to cross.